Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. say daylight anymore and uh over here ladies and gentlemen is um is the one and only isn't she lovely isn't she beautiful is um <clears throat> for an old fart yeah moving a little closer to the how's microphone. that yeah there is that you better? go there you go that got that, all these wires underneath this the, tape. Don't do, i'm just the, moving it what, why, away from just, the wires why, do you, what do you, uh, why those wires aren't connected to anything no you had this on the other side of the wires and everything has to be neat for you well it makes life except where your own personal life is concerned yeah yeah i mean because you can leave you know you can leave a mess i pretty much clean up after myself uh, i do and i do too Sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? Let's look, talk about the little mess next to the bed what, on the floor. Wait a, minute, wait, wait a minute. Let's talk about that mess next to the bed. What mess is that? Alex drops his clothes on the floor. That's so right. We have agreed. And I've agreed to it. I have done it. that. I have done that all my life. I understand that. But when we were first together, you were leaving it on the floor all over the place. So now he does leave it on the floor next to his side of the bed, which is fine with me. I don't have to look at it. But I do show my friends when they come in, this is Alex's side of the bed. You like to embarrass me. I do. You know, you don't have to bring them into the bedroom. Of course, I have to show them your side of the bed. <laughs> yes, you see, that's the point I'm making. You do everything to embarrass me. You can't say, this is my husband. Isn't he amazing? This is my husband, isn't and, he, and, isn't and this he is his side of the bed on the floor. No, isn't he amazing? Yes. Isn't he wonderful? Look at the sculpture, the soft sculpture that he makes on the floor every day. What do you mean soft sculpture? Well, soft sculpture. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Now, what, what soft sculpture are you talking about? My boogers? No, I'm talking oh. about the clothes. Oh, okay. <laughs> she used to have a big joke about my bo boogers. Well, it was like rubber cement. <laughs> it, was, it was spongy on that side of the bed. No, it wasn't. It was spongy. But let's talk about you. <laughs> let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and your, your, your ever-growing propensity to ruin the ozone. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, now, I'm not talking about aerosol cans that she likes to <laughs> blast off everywhere. It's enough. Uh Alex. She has some of the most amazing farts that I have ever experienced in my life. And I'm on this, a medicine. I'm on a medicine. Oh, oh is that your excuse? Well, that's, it's true. Yeah, yeah. That's what it uh, is. Well, I'm a medicine on well, a medicine, too. It is it, medicine. No, no, but... It's a prescription. Your, your farts have gotten to the point now. <laughs> she has this... Let me explain. She, I'm, leaving. I'm going to bed every night. Good night, everyone. No, 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 you, no, you, no, no, no. just you stay here and suffer this. If you're going to bring up my side of the bed, I'm going to bring I up, up your, your soft sculpture on the floor. Let me, let me, uh, and I'm a regular Jackson Pollock that way, I'll have to admit. Anyway. Help me. Uh, Somebody call him right now. No, the, the, the lines aren't open yet. But you better open. Uh, No, but here's the thing now, you see, that, that I, that I. Stop it. Enough. They are enough. lethal. Alex, enough. I mean, it, a lot of people are wondering why the weather has been so weird this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of her farting. That's enough. Okay. It changes the ecology, dear. <laughs> okay. Honey. <laughs> Honey. You know, I mean. Uh, it's 10 10. You know, I, I used to snore. I don't snore anymore. Well, because you lost that weight. Yeah, but I don't snore anymore. Okay. Once in a while, and do and I don't fart that often. <laughs> you you fart more than a guy does. Well, it's this medicine. <laughs> well, enough. Then, then enough. Why, why enough. she got enough. you on the medicine? I don't want to 
go into my health issues. Alex, stop it. Enough. Is it because you can't... Alex, you, just stop you it. You can't poop a lot? Alex, stop it. Enough. I, I took an Imodian the other day, and I haven't pooped in two days now. Two, two and a half days. <laughs> Please, well, you're not getting these back. <laughs> They're mine. They're mine now. No, they're no not. you threw them at me. They, you said, here, <laughs> Alex, these are yours. <laughs> uh, okay, turn it on. Let's start early. No, no, we're not going to start yeah. early. I don't love you anymore. <laughs> so there. Well, apparently you don't because otherwise you'd put a cork in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, it's... it's, it's Enough. It's, Enough. And, uh, can I, can I say uh, no, one thing? Just stop one thing. It. Just one thing. Just one thing. She refuses to admit it when she does it. And she has this spray, this orange spray. It's orange extract. Uh, orange extract. And it is, it's ghastly in and of itself. It smells delicious. Well, it would smell delicious if every now and then I had to <laughs> smell it. But I'm sitting there watching television, all of a sudden I hear psst. <laughs> Better I don't spray? Uh, well, sometimes you don't, and you try to see if you can get away with it. Now, we've all done that. We've all done that. You do it all the time. Oh, no, I mean, we yes, will. if we fart in an elevator, we're looking at the guy next to yeah, us. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> looking around. No, no, but you, you're looking at the guy next to you to, like, say, oh, it's probably him, you know. So, anyway, that's... That's that. enough. Mm. Okay, it's 10, 12. You don't want any more talk about your farting? No. Why is that? Please, Alex... That's okay. Come on. Honey, you should know you should be proud of your farts. I don't believe this. You know, the thing is, can I just say this about farting in general, not your farting? Farting actually, according to my doctor, is the air between the shits. Yeah, well that was just to make you feel good. But well, anyway, it's true. anyway. It is it is a human thing. It's the most human thing probably we do. And share with others. Besides <laughs> breathe. Yeah. Well, no, you don't want to breathe when someone's <laughs> farting. But okay, it, enough. It's very natural. Okay. So you should embrace the natural. Ten, ten thirteen. Of it. You should embrace the natural. <laughs> ten thirteen and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rolling over. Can, no, you're not. <laughs> you, we're not gonna go to the phones yet. You're gonna have to suffer this now. I'm not gonna now suffer. you want to say anything else about me? Or no, should, that's huh? enough. Huh? That's you enough. started it. I didn't start you it. You started it with by, by my side of the bed. Well, it is messy. Huh? It's messy. Yeah, it, yeah. it gets messy, but you know, I mean, I uh, uh, I do most of the cleaning up in the kitchen. We clean up after ourselves. That's what you do. Yeah. No, if I cook if I cook dinner for us, you don't say, "Oh, well, could I do the pan? Could I clean the pan?" When I do dinner for us, I clean the pans. So there. You don't cook that often. I cook what I want to cook. What kind of housewife are you? I should come home and say, Dar dinner, "Darling, I'm home. What's for dinner?" And you should then be there in a in a dress with, with an, an apron. apron. And you should and be, heels and and little Johnny and little Jane should be sitting at the table exactly and then you should be serving this gruel yeah. you made for dinner. When Alex was first out of work, after I would come home after doing nine hour days, he would say to me, "What's for dinner, honey? <laughs> <laughs> What's for dinner?" No, I uh, usually here's what we always say. Well, we stopped. I stopped pretty much stopped when you went on your diet because I couldn't make my chilies and my stews and my soups. Yeah, yeah, which you make for an army. Well, she doesn't just make. You know, it, it, a lot of people would make a stew and they would get out a crock pot and they make the stew and then you eat dinner and you've eaten most of the crock pot. I like. Well, you know what it is. I was single in Washington, so I make dinner. I would make soup or stew on a Saturday or Sunday, invite friends, and then I had it for the week to eat. And it's not out of a can, it's fresh. It was fine with me after doing an entire day, I had fresh food. You don't like to leave, leave, eat at leftovers. Well, I don't mind leftovers for one day. Well, it's leftovers for the next three weeks. No. You know, I mean, uh, and and this pot, the pots get smaller. She has these varying sizes and they get well, smaller as she uses the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, I'm going to make a uh, beef bourguignon on Monday. Well, I'm making vegetable soup right now. 
Are you really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Who are we having over to dinner? Our neighbor. Is that all? Yeah. I thought you were. I thought that big huge pot is for you, me, and and I'm probably not going to have much of the vegetables. You're not going to have any of it. I bought you a steak. <laughs> Well, and it's not because of the diet, because I could probably Dwayne eat the and I are going to have roasted vegetable soup. But you know, I thought you were going to make chili. No, we, because the scheduling got all crazy with the, the weekend. The scheduling. What do you mean? Well, we were supposed to have brunch with Echo and her husband. That kind of fizzled, mm -hmm. and we we're supposed to go to Connecticut tomorrow. That kind of fizzled. Yeah. So I, I canceled the chili. And the people. Oh, because one of the reasons I can't eat the chili is not if you just did chili with meat, I could probably have the chili. Yeah, but you start out with the beans. Okay, but even if you did the beans, there'd be a reason I couldn't eat it, not because of the diet, but because of the way my stomach reacts to beans. I get I get the trots from it. My IBS is is exacerbated. Well, that's why I bought you a steak. By the beans, yeah. You can have a steak. So I'm going to sit there in front of this vegetarian and eat a steak? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Is that rude? Well, we're doing the same thing for Thanksgiving. What? We're going to have a turkey, and we our vegetarian friends are bringing over their vegetarian food. You Italian. mean to say, wait a minute, you mean to say, uh, oh, you mean to say that you and I are the only ones that are going to be eating the turkey? No, Jack's going to eat it. Well, Jack's going to eat it, too. Yeah. See, Jack and Natalia, Jack's uh, the, you know, Jack... Uh, yeah. Very fine. And uh, um, uh, Natalia has decided this year to be a bit. Why did she, she, she decide to be a vegetarian? What You'll was ask her. Reason? You'll ask her. Yeah. She, but she, uh, I, I, but she's kind of been forcing it on Jack, hasn't she? So whenever he has an opportunity to eat something, I could take him out to lunch. When you ordered food, it, what, what did he have? He didn't go vegetarian, I don't no, think. No, but what did he have? I can't remember, but he didn't go vegetarian. Yeah. You know, listen. So we'll have turkey, and and she'll bring some vegetarian stuff. Yeah, but I mean, that essentially, if he doesn't eat a lot of turkey, which he's not, because he doesn't eat a lot, he's an old guy, and he just, you know. Yeah. Uh, you and I, it's going to be the turkey for you and I. Yeah. Unless, of course, somebody else shows up. Right. Uh, but we couldn't allow. We couldn't. We asked uh, Shecky, but Shecky couldn't come. Mainly. Because his brother comes to town and take get buys them dinner at like some you know turkey and stuff at, at, a, at, a, at a hotel per se. Yeah, but I mean it's like <laughs> at two hundred dollars a head. At two hundred dollars a head, yeah. Oh no, no question about it. So, uh, but anyway, and then we have somebody else who's supposed to show, but they haven't said yes yet. Who? Uh, our, uh, oh, they said no. Oh, they said no. She's oh. going to her cousins. Really? I thought her cousin died last year. <laughs> Stop it. Don't, 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 let's not even talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Uh, so, but I like Thanksgiving. I love it. So I, I'd it's my favorite be, holiday. I, I would be very happy to just, you know, don't get a huge turkey. I'm not. But I went up for you know, my turkey is, soup. The thing is, you got to get at least like a, what, a 12 pound? Because if you get anything less... It really, you don't have any meat on the turkey. Yeah, no, I'll get like an 18 pound. Yeah, and then you make that. The and then, soup. Oh, oh, more soup? The turkey soup. Oh, you yeah, have the turkey soup that's going to last for eight weeks? <laughs> See, that's what you do. You can't just leave it alone, you know? It's 1019 if you want to know. What do you mean it's 1019? That's what the time says. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's good. Well, it's actually almost 1020. That's right. Yeah. You got another 10 minutes of suffering like this. So um, uh, what do you think about politics? Oh, it's been a dreadful week. It really has. What? And well, you know what's going to happen with all this stuff with Whitaker? And, um, and at least some Republicans are coming out against it. Well, what's, what's really fun, this is really fun. Uh, if you're listening, Phil, explain this one. But the, Donald, Trump, wanna, what, Donald Trump. Said in the last day in a, one of those old press conferences. I never he met him. I don't know who no, no, he is. He I've, comes from. I've, the... I've never met Whitaker. Whitaker. They played a what was it? A Fox interview that he did. An interview maybe a while ago. About uh, two months ago. Yeah. In which he said, "Oh, I uh, you know I know I, him very I, well. I, I, no, I, Whitaker's a great guy. I know him very really well." well. 
<laughs> and he's a great guy. And then today he says he doesn't know him at all. Of course. I'm sure he had to pledge some type of allegiance to him. <laughs> uh, something. Meanwhile, they didn't even know if that if, if acting is even legal. <laughs> if acting isn't legal, well, I don't know. Uh, have, you, have you seen... Uh, um, Oh, I don't know. I was going to make an acting joke. No, I no, can't no. think of a acting bad. attorney general is is a is a legal thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it it it, it he can do it, but he but, but he says he's also not in a rush to find his new attorney general. Yeah, but you know who are the two are on the list? Oh yeah, Giuliani and uh, Fat, Fatso. Yeah, there are a couple others too. Are there? Yeah, yeah. But uh, fat fuck and uh, and. Uh, Son of Dracula. Um, boy, he's a really gruesome-looking guy now, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he was never a looker. Let's put it that way. He always had that long comb-over for years. No, uh, yes, he had the comb-over, and then he finally did away with it. Yeah. He finally let himself be, be bald. bald. But I think he still wears it long on the sides, doesn't oh, he? He's so ugly. He's creepy. He's just creepy. Mm. You know. Uh, but he, uh, um, so anyway, I'm having my coffee tonight. Good. I, I cleaned out. I use those co things to clean the coffee thing out. Good. And it I'm coming tastes over. much better. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> not yet. So anyway. Um, I think we're in for a couple of ugly years. And Trump already said it in that hour and a half press conference that he had. He said, yeah, let the house just start it. I've got the Senate. We know how to play that game. Did you hear? Him? I think he's got a he, he's got a misguided idea of what his power is. He's got a misguided idea of what uh, his power and democracy and and you know he thinks the Justice Department works for him. I'm, be, I'm beginning to think that his entire desire to win the presidency was to avoid prosecution. I think it was to that, get back that, at that, Obama. That there was something lingering that. Only being president would prevent him from happening. In other words, he's got, he's got to actually stay president until he dies. Otherwise, the minute he gets out, he's going to be slapped in chains. I hope so. You know. And I hope his kids go to jail, too. Well, uh, 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 you, I, want to see, I want to see Jared go to jail. He could be somebody's butt boy. He could just <laughs> be somebody's bitch. Oh, man. He would be so terrific in jail. You know. Uh and, and, and by the way, do they serve kosher in in jail? Yeah, they do. If you if you want it, really, mm -hmm. really, they, they must by law. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, son of a bitch. And I guess if you're Islamic, same halal way. is probably just about the same thing as kosher. It, pretty so, much, yeah. So anything that's kosher, if if you're if you're uh, Islamic, and you're halal, you, you basically that's the equivalent of kosher. You, they really don't have to change the diet for you. No. It's, it, they're all the same dietary rules. Don't touch the keyboard. But if you're a vegetarian, they would do that too. Huh? Really? Yeah. Oh, boy. God. I just, I, I don't know. Would you want to be a vegetarian? If, if, will you stop it? Just stop it. I'm just coming over and just Stop me. it. Just stop it. I want everyone to what? call in because at 1031, I'm going to bed. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to go to the phones now. Okay. So I can get rid of you. Great. Okay. Well, right. Wait Wait a minute. Just uh, uh, come on over here. Come on yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot to talk about. Hmm? What? There's a lot to talk about. Can that, you well, move this? What? You always tell me to talk into the mic. And you well, I didn't say I was going to turn the mic in your direction. Move over. Okay. All right. See that? Okay. Now I open up the phones. All right. Please I'll call. I'll open up the phones so that people can call. You know, you should, but anyway. See my, my shirt? What are you showing your tits? No, what, I'm showing you my doing? shirt. What are you doing? You're not even in the frame. Love your lake. You, That's you, from Lake Champlain. Uh, come, just come over more this way. Aww. Mm. <laughs> rub noses? Mm. Oh boy. Ah, life is grand. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, let's see my muscles. What? You want to see mine? See mine? Look at this. See mine? Look at mine. Look at mine. Look at mine. Look at mine. Look at that. that Look at what? Yeah, you're getting a little. Yeah. I, she she always you know the problem is I don't I work out 
Maybe four days a week. It do good. Yeah. Yeah, but I did you open it up? I don't like to tell her what I do and don't do because she's going to Yeah, it's open. Nobody's calling it. Uh uh because nobody listens to the first half hour of the show. That's why I don't go to the phones. Um I uh uh, I don't like working out and, tell, and having you comment on it. She keeps telling me, well, you should really be doing this instead of that. And I'm going, you know, I'm not exercising for the same reason you are. Okay, well, here, here comes... Here comes the, Phil Meyer. Here, 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 comes, here comes the filibuster. Hey, you, yes. you, uh, huh? you, you posed the question for me, but, you know, we just found out that uh, you're full of shit. Uh, you haven't uh, crapped in two days, so you, you know how, how are you going to make fun of Marjorie if uh, if you're uh, sporting a load like that? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, but, but but I'm not I'm not I'm not farting. Okay, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I had some stomach problems the other night, and so I took a little ammonia. You know what? He ate chicken skin. No, I didn't eat chicken you skin. Did. That wasn't you it. Ate that wasn't it. Skin. You know what it was? What it was the ribs? The ribs are very spicy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't have spicy anymore. Uh, if I have spicy, it's all over. You know, I, I haven't had acid reflux in a long time because I stopped eating spicy food. I haven't had it since I had the the wrap oh, around my esophagus. I haven't, it's yeah. been four years since I've had an acid reflux. I, I just take a pill every night. I don't take anything. I gave you all my Tums. Yeah, you know, I don't think the pill is uh, is doing you justice. It's it's only masking the problem. No, I no no, that's not true. That's not true. It actually stops the acid reflux. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, acid. Uh, it, it, most people can be are pretty prone to have acid reflux as they get older, and so you take things like uh, what was what the thing? Um, Emoti? What was it? Prilosec. Prilosec. Yeah, I've done that. Or yeah. You take an antacid and whatever before you go to sleep. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't get acid reflux at all. Oh, when yeah. I did, I'd wake up in the middle of the night. I'd have to run to the toilet. You know, you think that you're going to throw up. It, it's it's an well, awful if, feeling. If you get acid reflux a lot, you got to worry about... Uh, uh, it, about Barrett's... Uh, no, about esophageal, esophageal cancer. cancer. It's the number yeah. one cause. Well, it doesn't yeah. Barrett's... Uh, Which is why I had that Barrett rap. syndrome. Yeah. 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 Hello, to, uh, uh, hello Hi, to, Rob. Hello, Rob. Hello, how are you? It is Rob. Oh, and he's got uh, his microphone sounds good tonight. Uh, yeah. And we never, we, never, Rob? we never see him in the studio anymore because I think it's being, been turned into like a storeroom or something it's like a, that. It, it's a planter. <laughs> yeah. You know, as soon as Rob came on, uh, your camera uh, became really clear, uh, much clearer than it was. Whose camera? Oh. Uh, uh, Alex. No, it, what it is is, and, and it happens here too. Uh, as more people, as a, when the first person is on, it's a little blurry, and sometimes you're not in sync. And then when the second yeah. person calls, you get in sync. Yeah. Now, um, who did I hear was uh, oh Sprint? They filed charges, I think, against Sprint because they've been throttling people's uh, bandwidth. Really? Really? When they use Skype. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, you you put out a challenge uh, earlier. If Phil is listening, so you know we can talk about it later. I I, I have my uh, hat ready. Uh, yeah. Well, so. go get me my communist hat. I'll wear that. <laughs> you got two legs. Or your Obama shirt. Yeah, You know, what? I only have one thing to say. You know, I, I can't remember things from one moment to the next. And Trump is older than me. So I give him the benefit of the doubt if he says he didn't know the guy, okay, he didn't know the right, guy. All right, all right. We'll get, really? We'll, we'll get, you, bo you buy that. We'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, no, it, it was we'll an earlier it, challenge. But I'll tell I you, about, about, about it. getting older and losing your memory, I, I, I've kept worrying about it lately because I have a hard time remembering names. And the other day I'm having one of my long, elongated phone calls with my friend Shecky, who really, I have to say, for sheer memory of films and movies and who was in them and so on, he's gotten to the point now where he goes, I can't remember the name of that actor. 
Yeah, well, it's, it's amazing <laughs> how you pull shit out of your tuchus you know uh, when, uh, when it comes to a movie or an actor. Yeah, but you or, know, you know, you know I who does is Bubbles. The, Bubbles is good oh, at. He's it. amazing. Well, he I, I I said I was yeah. going to hire Bubbles just to come be stay with me and be, be my memory. memory. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the thing is that. Um, He'll probably take you up on it. Uh, my remembering of stuff, all of a sudden we lost a lot of people. In, 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 what happened to our, there must be something wrong with the video somewhere because we just lost a whole bunch of people. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, where was I? Oh, so. Are you uh, talking about so, so the anyway, memory Sh Shecky, Shecky, yeah. I mean, Shecky has a great memory for you know movies and films and who was in them and when they were in them and so on. And yet, the other day, I said, what's that actor's name? Oh, I can't remember now. And I went, oh, good, you're finally getting it, too. You know? I had a friend that the way he kept from getting beat up, he went to Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn. And uh, Erasmus was pretty tough. And uh, he was a, a white Jewish kid in, in, in Brooklyn in the 60s, mm -hmm. uh, early 70s. Yeah. So uh, they used to call him the record man. And he would be, they'd say, okay, Barry, what's, what's the name, what's the flip side of this record and the label? And he, oh, he knew I could, it. I could do that. I could do yeah, that. You, he I knew used it. to be able to do that. Yeah, he knew the time of the record, and that would keep him from getting beat up. And the intro. I used to know the intro. <laughs> the well, you could have gone to Erasmus and, 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 and stayed without scars. Well, I mean. Uh, I still uh, remember some, but yeah. not like I, I always used to. I always used to remember flip sides and things like that. And then, uh, uh, then albums came along. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and that and it kind of was, became a, uh, hello, Jeff. Uh, that yeah. became kind of an old uh, old deal for me. Yeah, so, uh, uh, kept him alive. Huh? Yeah, it kept him alive. I, I can imagine it kept him kept alive. alive. Uh, my friend Barry, oh. the, the record man. Yeah, but anyway, so I, uh, um, uh, but I, I, you know, I just find that as I get older, I have a hard time just remembering. And and, and here's the deal. You say I do remember stuff and that I'm very good at remembering things and so you on. You are. But yeah. the thing is, I if, think you if, are. if I'm yeah. not being pressured, I can come up with the names right. like that. It's like that but for if all everybody. of a sudden you say everybody's like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if I'm then suddenly pressured, boom, I'm just, you know, I'm well, stuck. I can have a conversation everybody's where like I that. know what the person looks like. I can't remember the name. I mean, yeah. I could see the pa the face. Yeah. Uh, I used to uh, create a game to because uh, there are certain styles of faces that different people have. Mm -hmm. uh, and so just like a, a police sketch artist, you know, you, you can overlay certain things and look at different styles of faces. And I have certain faces that I associate with certain names. Pauls look one way to me. Uh, and, and so when I look at somebody, I can remember if it's a Paul. Uh, and I do that with customers so that you know I can remember their names. Right. That's uh, my big problem. I don't remember customers' names yeah, unless I've dealt it. with them multiple times. Um, a lot of times I don't even remember the last meeting I had with them. <laughs> yeah, you know uh, that's why I make these things called customer contact cards, and uh, you know I keep track of things that are important to them because and and it's not a negative manipulation. It's it's people. Uh, like to know that you care and mm -hmm. and you uh, and you remember them and it it makes the rest of the interaction much easier when you oh, do. I agree with you. I completely agree with that. Yeah. What but was your I'm, name I'm again? Terrible at it, I see. I, yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> Boy, all of a sudden, I can't, I'm not getting the video on uh, on Safari. I'm going to say good night, guys. Okay. Look. Mm. Good night. Is that night. gross? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Safari is like all screwed up tonight. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. Oh well. Anyway, either well, that, either that or there's something wrong with YouTube. Uh, um, before your show started, mm -hmm. I watched three episodes of um, Below the Deck. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what it is about that show, but you know, you just keep watching. Below Deck, uh, the Meridian, uh, Mediterranean. Uh, Mediterranean. Oh yeah. Uh, well, there's two of them. Yeah, I watched there's... that show too. I yeah. don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I don't either. You know, I can't figure and, it out. So. And you know what else is a good show? Uh, the Kidding with um, uh, Jim Carrey. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been watching that. I actually I, I like it a lot. And uh, and Ray Donovan has come back. Yeah. Uh, 
pretty good show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't I, know. My my yeah. wife watched the the last season. I watched the first three episodes and I turned it off. The last of season of House of Cards. Oh, I haven't. Uh, it's I've never brutal. Watched it. It's really? brutal. The, the, I love the show, but this last season, since Kevin Spacey, uh, you know, was was taken off. Yeah, yeah. And the thing was, you could tell it was hastily rewritten because they were under, they were in production when when they realized that this whole thing blew up. So they canceled production. They rewrote it quickly, and they, and 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 it it just was terrible. Who, and I love that. Replace show. him with? They didn't. They killed him. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, if they would have replaced them, it would have been better. Mm. Because uh, at least you know, all right, we realize it's a different actor, but the the, the last season of the uh, of the show was just forced, <laughs> and you, you, it was terrible, and it got horrible reviews too. Because I wanted to read about it after I watched the first three episodes, because I wasn't going to invest in any more time in it, and I wanted to know how it ended. Yeah. So I read reviews where they. Gave the ending. I, didn't, I won't say it here because people may want to watch it, but it was just exactly the, what I thought of it is what the most of the reviewers said. It was just it was forced. It was terrible. Yeah. When they kill yeah, I, off the character, don't you get the? They did the same thing with Roseanne. Okay, yeah. when they kill off the character, don't you get the idea that they hate the fucker and they're trying to give the finger to them? Oh, absolutely! Just the way you know they were—they were nebulous in the way he died, and they didn't—you know—the way they didn't explain it right away. They let you kind of wonder, and um, I, yeah, I was, you get I was that still, feeling that they—they—they're doing like this. Fuck you! <laughs> uh, I was still pissed when they changed Darren's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing Bewitched. is, which yeah, but they just did that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, they had to. I think the guy was sick. Yeah. On, was, so, on soap operas, what they used to do is uh, they used to say the part of so and so from here on in will be played by so and so, and then they would go yeah. into the soap yeah. opera. That's right. why they do it on stage, you and, know. And when, the, uh, of course, the best play. The best thing they ever came up with was the way to change Doctor Who's. Was they would uh, they killed off the Doctor, and then he regenerated into the new Doctor. You well, know, they could have had. Sp- they could have had Frank Underwood regenerate into the new Frank Underwood. That would have yeah. been cool. It would have yeah. been better than the ending that they had. Well, you know, part of what bothers me is what were they worried about if Kevin Spacey kept doing the part? Well, people dropping subscriptions to Netflix. Well, when you've got 120 million people subscribing to Netflix, I think the amount of people that would stop, you know, would. You know. I think it's just pressure. It's, you know, the well, I mean, pressure I, to I, act. I, I, yeah, but I just, you know, like, for instance, uh, it's interesting that a guy who has managed to survive that uh, Me Too thing, James, James Franco, Oh, uh, yeah. he, he still remained on The Deuce this year, and he's in this new movie that's going to be on Netflix that the Coen brothers did. Did he apologize? I don't know what he did, you know. I, mean, I think he just said he didn't do it and 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 moved on. Basically, basically, yeah. yeah. Also, you know, you know something. There's something to be said for the fact that it could be that Franco's a nice guy, you know, and that nobody hates him particularly, and so therefore they weren't out to get him. But Spacey was hated. He was yeah. just just disliked intensely. And so mm-hmm. nobody's going to come to your defense. Who was that uh, senator, uh, that uh, congressman we had here? Uh, 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 Weiner. Weiner. Uh, yeah. uh, the, wasn't liked. The, the, well, he wasn't liked politically, and so nobody I was don't... out to defend him. What? What you? I like. I liked him too. Do you remember the guy when he was getting bagels and some guy uh, got in his face? Uh, that, yeah. that was that was classic. <laughs> what? Yeah. What was this? Uh, Wiener was in New York, and uh, some guy was uh, was in a bagel place. And uh, oh, I remember he got in his face. Yeah, it's in the movie. Yeah, yeah, the, the movie. That's where I saw it. Yeah, oh, is that oh, okay? I thought I saw it in the news, but maybe it was. Yeah, uh, you know, Wiener. Wiener. I was, I always felt sorry for Wiener from the standpoint that, okay, so you fuck up, all right. And now you're on your comeback, and everybody's going, well, you know, he was a pretty good, you know, 
he was pretty good in Congress. And yeah, he had a we, shot. Yeah, we, we, we liked him, you know, he was okay. And, you know, he, so he then runs for mayor, and it, it's looking, actually looking good for him, right? You know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he shows his wiener again on Twitter. What is with him? You know, it's that, a sickness. that is just, it's a sickness, yeah. but it's also pure stupidity. I mean, you know. Um, you know, it's funny because yeah. people thought that Anthony Weiner, it seems in, retros in retrospect, people thought that Andrew Weiner was a turd in 2011. But in 2017 and 2018, in lieu of you know who, he seems more like a booger in comparison to the piece of shit we have now. Andrew Weiner? Anthony Weiner. I'm sorry. Weiner. I fucked up with the name, so what? Yeah, well, no. Nevertheless. I, mean, I just didn't say Nevertheless, like you him. see my point. Yeah. What once was perceived as no. a piece of shit <laughs> now is, well, I know you don't. You're, you're so far up well, his he, ass. No, he's, he's, like still, he, no, he, he's still <laughs> considered pretty much a piece of shit. That he couldn't get elected to uh, um, go get coffee for people. You know, I mean, he's Wiener. Just, you're talking about Wiener. 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 Yeah. Wiener. yeah. Well, I don't know about that anymore. Give it a few more years, especially if Trump gets reelected in, the, well, in, the, in a nightmare he, he, scenario. He, the collective amnesia of the American public. Never um, Americans, that. Americans, Look, it's, okay. It's going to be a long road for Trump to get reelected after what's come out today with that very liberal newspaper, the Wall Street Journal. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Owned by Rupert and Murdoch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they came out with. <laughs> the, well, that in he case is. you don't know, folks, they came out with the story that the government is 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 about ready to come out with the charges that uh, uh, Trump uh, was intimately involved in the payoff to Sharon McDougal. Both of them, not just Sharon McDougal. Both of them too? Also, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Both of them. And, and that yes. he, no, he had, they have proof of it, and I think it... Uh, Who's the other, Stormy Daniels? Or? Well, this is one, that, of, this one, is one of the people who probably blew the whistle on him, of course, was his former lawyer, Cohn. But then there uh, was yeah. the, the guy who's the head of the National Enquirer who fell out of love with Trump, and is now he's turning not. tail on him too, and yeah, he, he's hopeful. the guy. He's the guy that bought off McDougal, and they say, according to the Wall Street Journal, that they have the goods on Trump. Right. Now, this is not a story that would normally appear Journal. in the Wall Street Journal because they're Trump people. Okay. They're right. You know, Phil, I I would I'll tend to first time I've seen Phil. First time I've seen Phil going to regardless. Re First time I've, I've, a, wait a minute, hold on a second. First time I've seen Phil go into radio silence. Go yeah. ahead. Well, no, I, I hadn't. I, I hadn't heard the story. Yeah. Well, so, I just you know. Just, uh, I, I bet if you're faced with it, you'll still disbelieve it I because got, that's I got, I got it. Do. I got it right here. Let me read it you to know, you. Let me read. Let me, let me read it, it to you. It. Let me read it to you so you can know. I believe it. Okay. Okay. Let the, me say this. Federal prosecutors have believe. Let me. I believe it. It's just that I don't care. <laughs> oh, I see. That's a tall order. Sorry. Hold Trump on a Trump second. Trump Federal Trump. prosecutors have gathered evidence that Donald Trump was directly involved in the setting up of hush payments to women alleging they had affairs with Trump. The journal's story is behind behind a paywall. That means you have to pay to get the uh, the story. Um, uh, behind the paywall, uh, but has been picked up by other media, including uh, the Atlanta Journal Constitution. WSJ reports that Trump met with David Pecker, uh, CEO of the National Enquirer, as yes, a real name, publisher of American Media Incorporated, in Trump Tower on August 2015, at which time Pecker offered to use his National Enquirer tabloid to buy the silence of the women, of women if they tried to publicize alleged sexual encounters with Trump. Less than a year later, Mr. Trump asked Pecker to quash the story and form a Playboy model who said she had an affair with him. Uh, Mr. Pecker's company soon paid $150,000, that's called catch and release, to the model, Karen McDougal, to keep her from speaking publicly about it and then never ran the story. Okay. I thought he. She only got half the money. Well, she, maybe she only wanted. It doesn't even half. matter. Doesn't That's matter. David Pecker and Anthony. It doesn't Lee matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the report well, adds the Trump Tower <laughs> meeting and its aftermath are among several several previously unreported instances in which Mr. Trump intervened directly to suppress stories about his alleged sexual encounters with women. 
according to interviews with three dozen people who have direct knowledge of the events or have been briefed on them, as well as court papers, corporate records, and other documents. Taken together, the accounts refute a two-year pattern of denials by Mr. Trump, his legal team, and his advisors that he was involved in the payoffs to Ms. McDougal and, and, the, and a former adult film star. It's funny, they say a former adult film star. They don't say who it is. Now she's a stripper. They, she always was. They also raised the possibility adult, that the president of the United States violated federal campaign finance laws. That's what the problem is here. So the Wall Street this... Journal found that Mr. Trump was involved in or briefed on nearly every step of the agreements. He directed deals in phone calls, meetings, and his self-described fixer, Michael Cohn, and others. The U.S. Attorney's mm. Office in Manhattan has gathered evidence of Mr. Trump's participation in the transactions. All right. So, but they can't do anything the, until he's out of office. No, yes, but, they can. But he won't get reelected. Oh, yes, That's they can. Sure. That, oh, yeah. they, 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 they can charge him with it. And that, what that yeah. does is that goes that, that allows them to give an impeachment, and then it gets tried in the Senate. That that's how a president gets tried. Okay, yeah, they if wait he, until twenty twenty to do that. And, well, I I I think the minute twenty twenty comes and he's not in office any longer, uh, the handcuffs will be on him. All right, that, that's yeah. even better. But if he's still in office, they should wait until twenty twenty, say May or June. The <clears throat> Democrats should. Yeah. That way, the Senate's that that way the senators. Most of them Republican, of course, will show their hand, and it'll be an election issue. Yeah, as well. I, as I think you guys, issue. you guys are dreaming. The guy's going to get reelected, and uh, you know it, it, we're going to see the Democrats implode and do nothing for the next two years with Congress. Well, and uh, uh, it's Phil, probably Phil, swing Phil, Republican I'll, sw again. I'll switch it around. You dream. I could Phil. see a civil war. You dream. The Speaker of the House. You know. uh, no, you mean uh, Pelosi. I agree to an ex I agree to an extent with you, Phil. I see yes, and and uh, that uh, that a civil war because I, I I've called I will call my uh, uh, congressman Connor Lamb and tell him I do not want you supporting Nancy Pelosi. And you know they say of course they say somebody who calls their uh, elected official they take that more seriously than if you just write them a letter or something because they assume that you've already told a thousand other people or that you've told two people who've then told four people who've then told eight people and so on and so forth. That's why they t I'm told they take phone calls like that with the more than a grain of salt. Yeah, yeah. And, and then they start watching you. <laughs> I'll let them. That's the Trump government. They start watching you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they, they, it's always been that way. It doesn't doesn't matter who who the president was. Uh, yeah, that's bipartisan, Rob. Yeah, yeah. You know, they go after people. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Uh, even Obama went after uh, people for uh, you know their taxes and the I and suck sick the IRS on them. And we well, you know Nixon uh, did certainly. But, yeah, you know. But uh, uh, this is Clinton's had their own little shit list. You know, this yeah. is uh, this is quite uh, quite uh, a nasty bit of information. Uh, yeah, I, I I wonder how it's going to be dealt with. I really think it's just going to float down the river. I would uh, let it. If I were the Democrats, I would let it have its own life, uh, yes. rather than to seem like the people who have initiated it or are then going aha. You know. Yeah. Uh, I think but, the best political stance would be. If this is in the hands of prosecutors, let them do their work and keep your nose out of it so you don't turn him into a, a martyr at the hands of the Democrats. Well, they, yes. they should do that, but they, they, they forget that you don't throw stones at a uh, when you live in a glass house. And uh, uh, I don't think that they can uh, contain themselves. To, uh, to to not uh, go after it, yeah, the, they'll go after anything. The they only can. thing, the only liability they have is that to make him look a bit like a martyr to his people, and you don't want to do that. Yes, uh, uh, Jeff had his hand up. Well, I think Nixon was much more sophisticated as far as all of these problems than Trump is. Yeah, yeah, he just hired some Cubans to break in. <laughs> He showed that he went to Well, it, uh, Nixon was also more consistent in his lying. In other words, here's the problem with Trump. Trump doesn't know what he lied about. 
You know, when he today said that he never met Whitaker and then a few yeah. weeks and didn't know Whitaker. And then then there's a Fox interview with him in which he goes, and this guy Whitaker is really terrific. I know him and he's a great guy. Well, well wait a minute. That's it. That, no, no, he didn't That's say that. He said, he, it. Said, yeah. he, he said, I know him and he's a great guy. And then today he said, Whitaker, I don't know him. I've heard so he hadn't he, met him, but he heard of his he heard of his he's reputation. He's been at the White House over and over and over again. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it, I saw him. It, it was a blatant. It was, was a blatant. The, it was a blatant lie. And Phil, will you agree with me that Trump is a serial liar? I don't. I don't think he is. I just think his uh, <laughs> his interpretation, oh, in, uh, Phil, in, in Phil, way of communicating, Phil, you just Phil. don't get it. Oh, You've lost your moral compass, Phil. You've lost your moral compass. It's a good thing I got two or three of them around Let here. Let me ask you this, diving. Phil. Let me ask you this, Phil. You yeah. Had, you had two kids. Yes, you get them working again then, Phil. Uh, would you, <laughs> it, 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 having kids, mm -hmm. and I don't have kids, okay? And and neither yeah. does Rob, uh, neither does Tony, neither does Brian. In fact, the only other guy that has kids here is Jeff. But I would ask yeah. Jeff this question. Do you really want this man to be a moral example to your children? You know, our our uh, moral examples have no, changed. No, 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 when you, no. Hold on, you asked me a question. Yes, Let me no. answer it. You know, if you look at our sports figures today and uh, you, you look at the way they act, uh, oh, the way know. they set a moral compass... I mean, Trump is no different than what the rest of the Phil, world. Phil, you're is dealing doing. in the ultimate whataboutism. Yeah, well. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. About. To begin with, let me say this. I think to say you're comparing shit to, to shit to say that uh, that sports figures have to be a good example of the youth. I've always found that bullshit. You know, they have their own lives and they do a, uh, they play sports and they do it for the benefit of the audience and. Uh, and that's really all, all it amounts to. The same thing is true of entertainers. This is a man who is president of the United States, and he has to set a moral tone for the rest of the country. No, that's your opinion. No, it's what not my opinion. It's the opinion of every the an the it's, a, it's the opinion of every anthropologist I've ever interviewed, including the guy who wrote The Elephant Man, in which I said, "How do we decide what's right and what's wrong in a society, and what?" Well, and fashion in a society. And he said, well, it used to be on what the king or queen would wear. Well, and, when are you going to start wearing and, a long wait, tie? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. And, the, and I said, who do we have today? He says, oh, our president and our politicians who set the moral tone of the country. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, uh, you're fighting. That was you're, the case. You're fighting. It, it, you're fighting what anthropologists say. How do you like, would you want to point to Donald Trump if you had a kid right now and say, you should act like he does. Uh, you should. I. I would. Come tell on, my Phil. Kids to answer the, the question. Answer the question directly. No, don't. No. Don't hem and you haul know, they're around not, it. They're not uh, empty vessels that you you can just uh, plant uh, information in. They mm -hmm. have their own minds, and they're going to act the way they feel is is right based on the upbringing that I gave them. Mm -hmm. If if they don't respect Trump, and I don't know if my kids are Republican or Democrat. I, I, you know, I haven't had those kinds of conversations with them, but uh, and and one of them lives in Canada now and has no desire to come back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. you know, the uh, the idea is, you know, Trump is Trump. I I voted for him because he made certain promises, and as far as I'm concerned, he kept those promises. And he has flaws. Human beings have flaws. Nobody's perfect. And and uh, I'm willing to accept his imperfections based on the the promises he made and the promises he's keeping. Would you? I think it's more about pride at this point with uh, Trump supporters. It's it's more about not the the never going to admit the fact that they made a huge mistake, and it's uh, about pride. I don't think so, you know, I don't think I, so I because the guy's doing. You know, oh, if you look at, at half of the nation. Uh, they they Stop support. The it's not half of the nation. They, you know, if if, if things turn hair. out, it's not what There's... split hairs. The popular vote. We there was a tremendous blue wave, and it's not over yet. Rob, get it right. Splitting cubic hairs. <laughs> if only a broad. What? He's breaking up. Phil, to the, Phil. the Senate. The blue wave. 
I believe there's 30, 30 new members in the House. Right. There's 30, but there could be 33 uh, before this is over, the way it's looking. Well, they and were talking about 70. That would have been a blue wave. I never what heard this 70. Is, Where did you hear 70? Is, I, heard I heard 70. What, I never heard that. I think all, all it is, blue splash. <clears throat> what? Uh, uh, did I? What? Uh, I've been, I, my screen's been freezing. Yeah, yeah you're freezing. No, he, you're you're not, he's not frozen now. So. Not uh, now, but you basically... Yeah, because I moved the mouse. Oh, you must uh, have done something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, uh, I, I, I just think that you're skirting around it, Phil, when you say that this is the kind of person you want to have be a moral example to your kids. Yeah. My, uh, I didn't say know. I wanted them to be a moral example to the kids. Well, but... So, so how do you oh, expect our ally Phil again. to believe what he says... How do you expect anybody to respect this country? Forget about his promises to you. What about you what, like what about the, Rob? You mean like the UN again? Uh, he's having to step up. Uh, no, no. The, you you asked me how do how do I uh, believe that foreign leaders are what, going to respect? You know the what question. you're doing, well, Phil. Is, no, you're else, answering the question did. with what about isms? You're you're pointing to other people and saying, well, what about them? Well, he no, it's not what about them. We're talking about what about Trump. Doesn't answer the question, Phil. I understand what you're saying. He got them to pay he's some money. Another what aboutism? Right. He got them to step up. He got. That's, uh, but that's not South answering Korea. the question. Japan. That's not answering the question. Well, he he gets respect through strength. No, 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 no. You're not answering the question. Do you We're really think the about question? Do you really the think he has do you respect? Do you think, the world yeah. to believe one thing that comes out of the United States when everything he said, he, he, he's, a, he's a serial liar. Why would anybody believe anything he says? I'm not asking you about anything else. Okay. How do you have any kind of, how do you have any kind of real public policy? If, if you had a best friend and, and that best friend was constantly lying, how could he be your best friend? How would you believe anything he says? Phil's frozen again. Let me give you some examples. Oh, really? Let me, let me, let me, I might have to call back. Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, I, I might have to. Uh, I might have to call back. But let me. Let me see if I can get this across. Uh, he said that he was going to eliminate uh, and renegotiate NAFTA. He did. No, he didn't. He said no, that, he didn't, Phil. No, uh, you, Phil, you're going to answer the question. No, no I but am you're absolutely the because you're because you're well, wait, I, I wait, 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 because you're but you're giving did, false information, you're doing, Phil. You're not answering. He the did question. not question. He is, did not get he rid of NAFTA. The only thing he did to NAFTA was rename it. I don't care what he did. He renegotiated. No, he there didn't. Different he deals. didn't renegotiate I'm NAFTA. Not gonna, I'm not it's the same NAFTA. NAFTA. With you. I'm it's, going to tell it's you the what same, the guy did. It's the same NAFTA, respect. Phil. No, you can't say that because he didn't do it. Oh, good. He's frozen again. He's frozen <laughs> again. He took a red car and he painted it blue. If you don't like, like uh, let's let's try this one. He okay. said, "I am going to eliminate the agreement with Iran." He did. He also said in Syria, if you use um, uh, chemical we weapons, we will. How does that answer the question? What do you mean? I'm telling you what the man did. I don't care all what around the, man the did. world. I don't all care what the man did. World, he That's said, I'm going to eliminate ISIS in Iraq. We yeah. haven't had ISIS anymore. Yeah, we don't have the ISIS threat that we had. We don't. We don't have the agreement with Iran. Uh, we, we have a better deal with Mexico. Anymore, we don't and, have any uh, agreement. You no, know, no. Of it. We so, we don't have any agreement with so, Iran. You're absolutely correct, Phil. We don't have any no, agreement yeah, with, Iran, with Iran. And that's what Trump said yeah. he would do. And the fact is so, that because we don't have an agreement with Iran, we can't do business with them. We can't talk to them. We can't come up with. You know, the rest of the world is he, talking to them. The rest of the world is not going against them. So Iran's still doing just fine, and they're living by their nuclear uh, disarmament. And look at it. I love Phil how he's needs frozen. To hang out. Phil, Phil, you need to, to, to reboot or do something because you're, you're, you're uh, uh, I'm, freezing I'm up. having a hard time hearing. Uh, I got to call back. Yeah. Let me, let yeah, me, yeah. Yeah, let me call back. Yeah, yeah. 
he's not answering the question. He just wants to to state what he's done. How if you have a best friend or somebody that you want to be your best friend or think is your best friend, right. and you find time and time again that best friend is lying, how can that per- how could you trust that person with anything he says? You, you you wouldn't want to remain that person's friend. Right, because you can't trust the damn thing they say. So we've got all these allies around the world. How are they supposed to trust? He's picked. He already. He landed in France. He already picked a Twitter fight with the president of France and Macron. And Macron, they used to be. They used to have like a a love affair going. They had like a bromance going, and now Macron is just saying, "Fuck you." You know, we we can't put up with this. You know. But I have to say one thing in work. They're all panicky now because um, the, we just got a delivery from China, Alex, and they did raise the tariff 10%. Now, they're saying come January, uh, there's an old man. He handles their accounts for China, Bernard. Mm-hmm. I'd say he's in his 70s, goes back and forth to China. And he was talking to me. He says, Tony, I got to tell them come January, the tariffs are going to go up 20%. He wants to hit them, Trump. So now they're ready to hit the ceiling in my work. If it's true, he's saying they're trying did to Did they vote them. for Trump? Yeah, Bernard said Bernard. Is, I would say he's in his mid seventies. Really nice guy. He comes from the no, city. No, but did your did, he, did your did your bosses at work did they vote for Trump? Yeah, good. Tell them. You know, tell them. I told them that. He says, "Guess who they voted for? Who? Trump." I went third party, and he says, "I would have never voted for Trump." He oh, told me. You, you, you know you're going to get shame on them. They grew up in uh, in yeah. New York with all the Trump bullshit. And this guy, he's so nice, Bernard. He came because he handles everything overseas for them. Anybody? Like, anybody? Why'd you vote it, for the guy? He knew he was going to get you. He wouldn't say that. To anybody him. who grew up in New York and 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 uh, and voted for Trump is is stupid. And in your case, at your company, they're exceptionally they stupid. They deserve it. I'm laughing about because that. of the tariffs. They're now getting on their hats. Yeah, you know what? Get this, Alex. Uh, um, one of the hats that come over, right? I'm glad. I don't. I hope they hit them hard. I don't. I mean it truthfully, like that. And I'll tell you why. Because they complain about American goods, right? And I had an argument with my uncle a while back. I said, "Listen, the reason why you don't buy America is because you do buy America, but when you get 400 boxes in from China and 100 boxes in from Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. and you know what the difference is for a Blues Brothers hat made in China? Twenty-two dollars retail per piece. United States, forty-six fifty. And I'm telling you, if I showed you the hat, I wouldn't even sell it to my worst enemy, the China hat. It's a piece of shit, yeah. right? Even Bernard it said it's garbage. Is that why you, you sent know? me six of them? No, I, I <laughs> see a good one, actually. That was made in America. And Alex's Kangle was made overseas. But yeah. we'll make a long story short. England. Yeah, England. So basically, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm happy. I don't want to see anybody lose business. But if you're going to vote not in your best interest, then... We, he even said that. It's like, I don't know why they did that. Because we were talking on the slides. So I know him for a while. I says, I stay at him because they think they know everything. I says, I could have told him. Now the, now my cousin's like, they could have, they may raise you 20 more percent. I says, yeah, what did you think he was going to do? You yeah, knew he was going to do. She's looking like all stupid. Like, but oh, can we do anything about this? Yeah, you cannot buy from China. Buy more from America. Couldn't tell about what they raise right? prices. And, and if they raise their price more in the China item, no one's going to want it. Because it's going to be too expensive. Uh, I I guess things are the conversation changed, but in, in my industry, yeah. uh, these fuckers, what they're doing is they raise the Chinese stuff because of the tariffs, yeah, and then the Americans raise the American stuff uh, proportionately to the Chinese stuff. So there was there was no offset. In other words, what you're saying better. is the American-made products are costing you 25 percent more now. Just 10. because it's 20 or 10 or whatever the tariff is, just because China's tariff is that, so they feel they can raise the prices on you. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's what they did. And, and you, you know, know yeah. you know who the largest co- supplier I buy from yeah. is owned by Warren Buffett. Really? Yeah, uh, Berkshire Hathaway. And, uh, and, and it's my best supplier, my number one supplier. And uh, they have taken advantage of this tariff thing uh, for their own to line their own pockets, and I am pissed. Do you uh-huh. really think so, Phil? I know so. I just had to make print new price tags. <laughs> you know. Um, well, well, maybe you're right. I, I don't know. You're into the business, but on the one token, what I find funny is by us, 
I was talking to this guy, the guy who handles that, and from outside the place. I won't talk in front of them. And I heard that a lot of the warehouses up in Pennsylvania, they used to let Alex, they used to let the small companies, like, say, I want to go order 100 dozen. They used to say, okay, you know what? Give me 25 dozen and keep my other 75 dozen in your warehouse. You know what the guy's telling them now? Oh, since you weren't ordering a lot anymore, they're getting smart now. He says, okay, I'll store your stuff if you don't take it all, but I'm going to charge you per box now because my space is money. So either you take it all, or I'm going to charge you because you're not using me as a warehouse. I've had get deals like to, that. Get, getting them in the meat grinder now, they deserve it, Phil, because you know why? They used them for China for a long time, so it's payback. You want your stuff? I'm not going to store your stuff. Space is money. It's called locker stock. You know? I don't like that, though. I would say you got to take it. Because say if you were an egg on, you got to, you know, if I'm making it, I want to build it. I want to ship it out there. Yeah, I, I had I had a big order that I tried to keep to have them keep, and I, oh, they, I, stalled, they try to I stalled it for a month, and it showed up two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, let's get to another piece of news today as well, uh, and that's uh, uh, the election, or the fact that it's not over with yet. No, yeah. no. Yeah, no shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Florida and Arizona. Yeah, yep. and, and, and Georgia, and Georgia. Florida. The, the Georgia thing is uh, on the cusp because if they if the votes come in and she gets just a few more votes, that takes the his percentage under 50 percent. And if it's under 50 percent, that's an runoff. automatic runoff in uh, in Georgia. Now, so, were, there's, were there more than two people running in yes, Georgia to yes, begin with? Yes. There was a third oh. person. He got what one uh, uh, seven tenths of a percent of the vote. Now, was this guy taking votes away from her or or Kemp, um, Adams or Kemp? I, I really don't know. I'm not fami that familiar yeah. with Georgia politics. Uh, I assume, uh, uh, let, let's first assume for a moment that those are her votes, okay? Uh, uh, the point is that, uh, and then down in Broward County, I mean, that thing is now up for grabs. Yep. Those uh, people shouldn't be allowed to vote. What is going on? They fuck everything up. Well, they yeah. just seem to somehow they can't count. Uh, yeah, you know, and uh, 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 and, and there are somehow, no more chads. Somehow everybody else gets a hundred percent of their vote tabulated on the night of the election, but Broward, well, Arizona doesn't. Uh, they're only like eighty-four percent. I know they're at eighty-four percent, and it looks now it looks promising for the, that yeah, cinema is going to win that Democrat. election there. So. Yep. If if um, if uh, the, the governor of uh, why is it a shame? Uh, because I think that McSally <laughs> is such a, a better season. person than this person who uh, is is basically uh, a anti-American. Basically, uh, uh, yeah. anti-American. How is so, she anti-American, <laughs> Phil? Well, the things the things that she had said. Like what? Uh, like what? Uh, not Give, only quote, did quote she her call for me. Arizonans, uh, a bunch of meth heads. Uh, but, no, she yeah. didn't. No, she didn't. Yeah, she, said, she, made a, and, she made and, a statement that was similar to the deplorables by uh, Hillary. Oh, oh really? That well, why don't you good. quote it for me by by ver verbatim so that we can hear it? Or is it just well, something you think you heard nah, because you it know, floated I, up no, your I've ass? I've seen it. I've seen it. But the way I got my bandwidth to improve was I turned off the other computers that were sucking up bandwidth. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. It, does that happen if you have three yes, or four yes. uh, items that are all uh, taken bandwidth, even though they're just sitting there, but they're on? Uh, yeah. Does that take away from? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I did was I turned those off. Yeah, because it could be polling something. But anyway, anyway. Uh, uh, the, but the point is that we have we have a couple of, of uh, races here that could give us a couple of more senators. And the right. go former governor of, uh, of uh, um, uh, Florida, uh, what's his name? Uh, Scott. Scott. Uh, mm -hmm. it, he looks like that's going to that's gonna at least be a, I think it's supposed to be a retabulation uh, re -vote, re recount, whereas the gubernatorial may be a machine recount. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one what he's, is get what one he's way claiming another, is, another. oh, it's the liberals trying to steal the election from us. Yeah, no, course. no. The only thing that's happening is they're trying to tabulate every vote that people made. OK, yeah, that's and, all. And what about the boxes of uh, votes that yeah, they say they had rattled? 
What? Uh, what? They, they had boxes in Florida. They said that they found boxes of uh, of um, uh, ballots mm -hmm. that uh, uh, were hidden in a, in a closet. Now, I think maybe those boxes I, I, are ballots. I, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it's, that, they first showed of all. Pictures of it. And secondly, secondly, these are votes people made. They deserve to be tabulated. Maybe. Do they? No. Maybe. No, maybe. stop maybe. it. Stop it. Do they deserve to be tabulated? Uh, if they're legitimate. Well, I, I, let's say they're legitimate. Well, I, I can't assume that. Maybe oh, these gee, are the ones Phil, that are being Phil, held in Phil, lieu of Phil, felons Phil, voting. Phil. Enough already. Enough already. You're not this stupid, Phil. Come on. You're not this stupid. I'm not ready to believe You're that. You're not this stupid. You're playing a role for the benefit of this program, and we all know it. Every time... Every time Florida has had one of these issues yeah, in right Broward County, uh, I can't believe that they have this many issues, and it's always in a very tight election where they come up with this shit. He might be right about that. Yes, Alex. Jeff, Jeff, and then Brian. I, I've been there many times. In, in, I live there. <laughs> I live there, too. And you hated it, Alex. A lot of old people there. They've never used a computer. A computer. They're calculating these things. Their their glasses are See? having problems. <laughs> nah, nah. Basic some of them there. And they've got these to and they've got to tabulate people. the votes before the uh, before the early bird special is over. Yeah, at let Wolfies. me tell you something. <laughs> these people in Southern Florida are as sharp as they come. They know what they're doing. Uh, I I belong to a camera club uh, for a retirement community. Let me tell you something. These guys know the these guys know the rules inside and out. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on know, a second. Is this camera I'm, club you're going to in a retirement community? I wonder if you yes. trying to beat them. So out. what you're it's saying? Is, the wait, wait a minute. So you're yeah. you're beating up on these people every week with your photographs. You're beating up on I'm old people. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, because I've won so many times, they're going to move me up to intermediate next or uh, either advanced or intermediate. I don't know what the next. Gee, that's uh, like when I went when I, originally I, w I went to high school. They thought I was retarded or something. And they put me in the uh, Still in, think so. they put me in the retarded uh, <laughs> classes oh. and I was getting straight A's. I was just <laughs> I was just burning up the track. And all of a sudden they realized that I wasn't retarded and they moved me into the regular classes where I got C's. Well, that's yeah. what's going to happen to you, Phil. You will probably, <laughs> although uh, I'm on the uh, the council now. That's why I have, uh, you know, to attend those things. I, I actually have a duty uh, to well, Wednesday. Because you're the month. only one who has good hearing. <laughs> I'm the only one that can stand up for an hour. <laughs> really? <laughs> with, with, without a walker. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so anyway. Yeah, I had a question. Yeah. As uh, concerning Georgia, are we ever going to find out who uh, who voted for who? The in regards to those purged voters, those three hundred and forty thousand purged voters, or are well, we only going to find out if they decide well, to vote again well, in the runoff? That's the problem: is that the guy who's running against her was also the guy that decided who could vote and who couldn't vote. Now there's your conflict. And, and there's. Oh, gee. And that he was just quit, he just quit that job. Well, the, the, he, Good. yeah, but he quit the job after he did whatever he had to do to win that election. Yeah, but if yeah. there's if there's some sort of recount, uh, he's no longer. Yeah, uh, but you can't recount votes of people who weren't allowed to vote, Phil. Right. Right. I just would still like to know somehow if there's a way we can find out who voted. Well, if for, if, for if it goes to a runoff, Brian, if it goes to a runoff. Do, do these people get a chance to uh, vote again? We would yeah. hope so. We would hope so. But, you know, I, so. I mean, th this I guy know. was sitting there talking about, oh, how corrupt the Democrats are. With it, 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 He was claiming they were going to fix the vote. He fixed the vote. He was the you biggest. You guys have a short memory. No, what do you mean? Don't you remember <laughs> Hillary and the super uh, delegates? Uh, here we go. What about ism and, again? And Brazil. Has nothing to do with this. Has nothing to do with and this. And I never liked the yeah, super well, delegates anyway. It's all anyway. what about. I never I like. You guys have a short memory. I never liked the super delegates but anyway. And if you remember, I, I decried them. Hey, hey, Phil, was Hillary Clinton running in the 2018 election? Doesn't matter. Yeah, she ran yeah. in 2016. Yeah, but, she ran in 2016. She did not run in 2018. So we're not. So talking it doesn't about matter. Her. What I'm saying is, That's you have a short memory. 
a short memory, well, Brian, and you 16. have one of the shortest. Yeah, sure I do. I remember how she tried to fuck over Bernie Sanders. And That's the, what I'm saying. But and and so about Alex, Alex and says that the Republicans... Andrew Gillum. This is about Stacey Abrams. This is about uh, Rick Scott. This is about right. no, those, no, no. This, this is this is about the Democrats too. That those, oh, those boxes, oh, those boxes. Oh, of okay, Phil, Phil, hold it down a little up. bit. What were you going to say, Rob? You were you were. I was just lamenting. Oh boy, because uh, you guys beat her. She's gone. She's home. She's a grandmother. That had nothing to do with the statement, which was, you have a short memory. Alex said... Who's that talking re- about memory? We're talking about yes. what's going on in Georgia. Yeah, well, Alex said that That's the Republicans... I have a very, are, are, I have a very, I have a very short that, memory, uh, Phil. That That's why corrupt. I'm remembering what happened a week ago. You know, well, that, you learn from the past. And and that helps you. Uh, and what, did I, what am I supposed to, to learn? The Democrats are not in, in charge in Georgia. If there's corruption Hopefully going on, there, will be. same thing in Florida. How can you be corrupt, the, Phil, if you're not in charge? Yeah, it's very easy. You hide a bunch of boxes in a in a closet, and then you and you pull them out when you need them uh, because the election was close. Wow. In Chicago, you wow. come up with dead people. They vote. Oh, there we go. Gee, that, really happened, Alex... that, happened, that happened with Kennedy. That was a long time <laughs> ago. Oh, well, Did... you still have a short memory. You weren't even, you didn't even graduate high school. No, no, I was in <laughs> first grade, I think. You yeah. know what? It's really funny. Right now, until January, the Republicans control everything, and yet everything is corrupt. Or you guys are the ones to say it's the the FBI is corrupt and the, the deep state. But the, but these well, are like all the these are all people that the Republicans put in charge. Hey, the no, they, they were left over from Obama. But, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, once oh, the Senate won't... starts investigating these guys, uh, it's, it's all going to come out, you know. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, you're sitting there holier than thou right what you, now. What do you? What do you? I want to see. I, want, I, want, I, I hope. I hope Phil is around when we finally see this guy slapped in chains and walked away to yeah. jail. And well, how he, Purple. how he, how he parses they, that one. They will give him a monument uh, because this guy is so good. He's wow. better than Reagan. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Well, the cream of the crap. That, yeah. the cream of the crap. Thank you. I don't think yeah. he's better than Reagan. So now, so now but, he, but that's he, a that's a very this, low bar to set, Phil. Hey, so now, well, now he completely just completely uh, throw your back out going under that motherfucker. That's how low the bar is. He, he fires his AG, which he put there, and he puts in another guy who he doesn't even take. Forget about chain chain of uh, command in terms of who's the next one, and then he disavows knowing the guy. And after, the guy, did you see all the shit that's come after, up with after on Fox? That video of him hawking some hot tub, and and the and the FBI is investigating that company for all kinds of issues. What hot he, tub? You talk about. The, the, there was a video I saw of that uh, acting attorney general where he's talking. He's doing this uh, like sales pitch on this hot tub. He was thrown out of everything. This guy is a fucking loser well, who has the wackiest viewpoints. That are so outside and, 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 of America. Well, but wait a minute, Trump didn't know him. Doesn't know him. Yeah, Trump and, doesn't know him. Yeah, and, sure. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but uh, but wait, know, a, wait, a, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How come Trump it, said two think, months ago on Fox that he did know him? Yeah, uh, he smart. probably meant he's that he knew his guy. reputation. Know. No, he no, said, no, I know him, and he's a good friend, something like that. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. Yeah. I've talked to him. Yeah. I know him, and he's a great guy. That's what that's exactly the guess he is. He's a fucking liar. (laughs) Uh, You know, you're you're caught up in all the little. I'm caught up in his own words. What the I'm caught up in his own words. Hey, he says that uh, he knew his reputation. No, 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 no. That's not what what he said this morning. He was on his way to Marine One. Yes, he knew of his reputation. But but CNN's been playing it back to back. Where the interview that he did on Fox News back on October 11th, and what he said today, He's isn't it interesting? Lying. You got to know that Trump is in a lot of trouble when Fox 
and the Wall Street Journal are now doing stuff negatively about him. Well, Fox is is fair and balanced. <laughs> See? You're always good for comic relief, Phil. Yeah. Thanks. Ain't that the fucking truth? Well, I don't know. I've I've done Fox on a couple of occasions and I've always been treated very fairly over there. Wow. I have to say fair. that. And Please. balanced. They gave you water when you needed it. They didn't call you a commie because you're a leftist. <laughs> so right. you got treated nicely. But, yeah. you know. I mean, I... I so back. Alex kisses their ass just like Trump kisses the leader's no, asses no, that are nice no. to him. All I'm saying See? is my, my experience being over there, being used as a pundit, was always very positive. Uh, and I can say that I was able to say what I wanted to say, and I wasn't being besmirched for it. And uh, But... You know, I was one of the very rare people that way that they had on. Most of them were right wingers. Uh, I I have to say that in I fact, have no in fact, I'll tell you a story. This. I'll tell you a story. When I was in the makeup room at Fox, yeah. I said, "So, uh, what what show are you going on?" And I said, "I'm going on such and such a show." And the makeup woman said, "So, uh, what do you do?" I said, "I'm a talk show host." She says, "Oh." What's your political inclination? I said, "I'm a left winger." She says, "Oh, you're in trouble." <laughs> That's what she said to me. That was a good setup. Hey, uh, but, you know, I have a feeling that if they had a right winger that went to CNN or uh, CBS or any of these other, uh, even MSNBC, maybe while they were on the air, there might have been some things. But I would imagine. By, by the way, there are, them. you know, there are Republicans on right. MSNBC. Right. And, I, I, I would CNN. think. I would think that even, you know, the outsiders that they bring in would be treated uh, with respect and and uh, as a professional. You know, th this is a business and uh, they're no, not going to get I'm, people what to I'm come. Saying, yeah, what I'm saying is over at NBC, you have a, I forget what her name is in the afternoon, who worked for, uh, worked for B Bush, too. Uh, yeah. And uh, she's, uh, she's, she has a show. And uh, uh, Steele, the head of the Republican Party at one time, yeah. is, a, is a paid contributor at MSNBC. Uh, you go over to CNN, I don't watch them, but I hear they have some, some uh, uh, right-wingers over there. Uh, this guy, yeah. Whit Whitaker, was on, uh, on CNN. That's, he, was a well, paid, wait, wait a minute, he was a paid pundit. So, um, but you don't see that over at Fox. I don't see no, any. Uh, any. Uh, the do. last one was Alan Combs. That was it. No. What about that? Uh, the the black guy that's always on the five. Uh, he's uh, the, uh, the 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 lefty. Um, oh, a Juan. Uh, what's his? Yeah, name? yeah. Juan Ramon there. Uh, no, Juan Ramon. Juan, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'm not talking about their regular employees. I'm talking about when they bring in somebody like you, who is uh, uh, a uh, who, who's there to debate, uh, and they treated you nicely. I have a feeling, without any knowledge, I mean, I don't have any personal knowledge of this, but I have a feeling that all the other networks are going to be just as gracious to the people that they bring in. Of uh, and even with the all I'm saying is they were, they were they they the, yes they probably would be but that's because they're liberal. Uh, we're not expecting <laughs> we're not expecting Fox to be as nice as I found them to be. You know, well, I they're mean, the, they're, is there more than one other than oh you know there's a couple of small ones like uh, Mer uh one American Network. Uh, One American OAN. Network hardly gets and, any any juice. Yeah, uh, you, hardly gets anything. You've got Maybe, uh, uh, you've got that, new, that Newsmax, Levin. Newsmax, Newsmax. Uh, and I would imagine that they would just be as courteous as, as oh, anyone Oh, Newsmax else. won't even have a left winger on. Well, maybe, yeah. In, but, fact, uh, in fact, if you ever watch the Roger Stone interview, he does an interview over at Newsmax, and then they talk about the people who are doing the uh, the documentary on him, and that they're probably left wingers. And they and the ho and the guy who runs Newsmax was saying, "Well, we'll forgive them and whatever." But Newsmax, you will not find one person on Newsmax who's a who's a left winger. Well, I, I don't. I've never watched Newsmax. I never. I don't think I get it. You know. But uh, yeah, it's, who was on that? And who, who? What network is that? Well, it, it's it's a, it's a news network that tries to compete against Fox by being even more right wing, and they're like. Uh, 
uh, you know, they, 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 they literally are the company that sucks uh, Trump's dick. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was just commenting earlier that your claim to fame was is that you were treated nicely at Fox. And my thought was is that I would have bet, you know, that all of these ones, regardless of their point of view, probably treat anyone that uh, comes to that station. Well, uh, I will have to say, I yeah, will have, have to, to say, I, I, I used to work at MSNBC uh, with, um, uh, what's his name, was now over at, uh, at Fox. Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. Uh, and I used to do a show once a week. And uh, I have to say that while I was treated very well by Tucker uh, and I was allowed to be as left wing as I wanted to be. And he had me on with another guy who was a left winger. and We debated and it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, what I found was that the professionalism of MSNBC was not as high as the professionalism over at Fox. Uh, when I would uh, go over to MSNBC, I was dealing with robot cameras all the time. When I went over to Fox, every camera was manned by a cameraman. Now you don't I even worked there one day, huh? I, I worked at Fox one day. So am I right? They were very professional in that respect. Oh, a very professional organization. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of friends that work at Fox, and I'm so glad. Uh, that I got out of television because I probably would have wind wound up there, and then I would be so conflicted that I'm actually working for an organization like that. Yeah, you would have been wearing a Trump hat. In six no, months. I wouldn't have. I would have, I would have quit. But I have a lot of friends who work there, and oh, I don't know how I, you do hey, it. hey folks, we're boring Brian. He just yawned. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's late there. Did you fall uh, asleep on Jack's show the other night or something? Did you say? Did yeah. I hear that? Oh, I heard. I thought I heard that. Or you slept through mine and, and woke up for his. That was it. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. He thought I was pissed off at you because yeah. of the Columbus yeah. syphilis remark. Uh, I could give a fuck less. I year. must not have been there. I, I, I've never noticed Brian sleeping. So what do you think this, this... I did a while ago, like a year ago. Once. Well, what do you guys think this Congress is going to do vis-a-vis uh, -vis Trump? I mean, I think they should not do a nothing. lot. Well, I think they should do nothing. I think they, think they I should. I try to pass legislation that was I, that's in stark contrast to his own to exactly. make to prove to us that they are uh, who we elected. Right. And that's what they should do. Yeah. Right. And then wait, like I said, wait until uh, May or June of 2020 to start the impeachment proceedings well, so I that think, the senators can show their hands I, as an election. I boy. think we're going to hear some Mueller. If they're smart, uh, they'll do that. I think we're going to hear some Mueller results. They're Very saying soon. they're writing the final report now. Very soon. And uh, this new guy can decide whether or not it gets presented. This guy ain't going to last the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> This yeah, guy is going to go down in how flames. How would you feel, the, Phil, Trump if, already, if the Mueller, uh, if, the Mueller disavowed himself. if the Mueller probe was, <laughs> know. was ready to be published and it had to be okayed by this guy in order to get out to the public, how would you feel if he didn't let it come out? Uh, no, I, I actually want it to come out. I, I want the truth to be told. Okay. And Good. what would happen if you were to find out that he colluded with Russia? Let's just say, for argument's sake, I don't think that's gonna. They're gonna find. I that. don't think they're but, gonna find that. But if they do, what would what would well, be? You know, that, that, that's that's a what about ism too. Uh, uh, no, no, no. That's just a hypothetical question. That's not I, a what about. You know, well, you know, I don't want to go down the path of, of hypotheticals, but for you, you Rob, because I love you, I will. <laughs> Bottom line is, if he if he broke the law, then he should be uh, he should be uh, held held accountable. Uh, I don't believe that he did. But if he broke the law, he should be held accountable. So and regardless of all the good that you think he's done, that would absolutely. be enough. Okay, okay. Yeah. let me say one thing here. I think there's, there's not necessarily the possibility that he will be accused of colluding with the Russians, okay? They may get him on this thing with Stormy Daniels and with, uh, 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 what's her name? The other, the other woman, I forget her name now. Uh, uh, the good-looking uh, Yeah, the yeah, good-looking good one. Yeah. Uh, uh, they may get him on that, okay? That, that's a, always a possibility. Uh, but that's not collusion with Russia. But the collusion with Russia, I think there will be somebody indicted, and I think it's going to be Donald Trump Jr. Uh, I'm not so sure. That meeting, I think they walked out of that meeting, didn't they? Nope. Yeah. Uh, no, by they, whose account? Um, I'm not yep. sure. There were several accounts. So we'll find out because uh, 
you know, you're going to hear it from Donald Trump Jr. that they yeah. talked about what adoption? Adoption. Yeah. No, that yeah. was the that was the original premise for the meeting, and then when they got into the meeting. Uh, it was about something else, and they there and they, are people uh, I they think, split. and one of them is going willing to testify that Donald Trump had information that the Russians had information on Hillary Clinton, and uh, they you want, mean like the dossier he, that they did to no, Trump no, no, and there, paid for? There you go with what aboutism again? We're not talking. No, about no, that, no, Phil. you can't defend yourself. We're not with talking. That, we're, not, we're not talking. Every about time that, you Phil. get caught with your pants, we're down, not talking it's what about. about. Well, no, because you're doing what about? Yes, uh, Rob. So, Phil, if you keep go- trying that, then we can say what about the 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 the, uh, the bugging that he was going to have all the information that Obama bugged him at Trump Tower, right? And what yeah. about and what about? We don't, he said, wait two weeks and I'll have What all about kinds of all the claims he, he made did. that he never went through? What? No, he didn't. What? Yeah, Where? They, Where's the... Uh, they, the, the FISA uh, uh, warrants that they had, uh, that they were wiretapping uh, at Trump Tower and some conversations, uh, it was done. They, they, it was done under those uh, phony, trumped up FISA, war- uh, FISA warrants that... Uh, that wasn't yeah. Obama doing it. It wasn't oh, Obama. Did oh, it? yeah. No, it wasn't. No, no. Huh. It was no. Obama's administration. No, what it was, what it was is that the FBI was checking in to make sure basically that they were, they were okay, that they, they weren't being bugged and they weren't being uh, compromised. That's what that was all about. Uh, well, that's what you say. No, uh, no, no, Trump no, says Phil, they that's were, a very going easy after way to get people. around this. But he didn't have any that, proof. He said he had proof. He was uh, going to show yeah. proof. And you're going to you're believe a, a fucking liar, a guy who never tells the truth. Everything yeah, coming out of his him? mouth is a fucking lie, Phil. And you got to admit that. Well, he, you're just being played. You're being played by the Russians, and you know all of those bots and all that Facebook stuff of Trump's a liar, Trump's this, Trump's that. It's the Russians, and you guys are being played by them. No, I can Being played by his words, his the things that he says. You, some of them don't haven't even come from him. They came from the Russians or some 400 pound guy in New Jersey. Yeah, uh, Tony's going to explode. Yeah, but that that four hundred pound guy was Chris Christie. I got to go upstairs so, yeah. and check on this. I got to cut out. Oh, okay. Well. Thanks for the warning. I know. I hope <laughs> it's not going to be too bad when I go. Looking to miss it, Tony. Yeah. I know. Don't don't uh, don't turn your camera off. Just just. You know, let it see an empty chair. Yeah, just leave the it's empty like chair Clint there. Eastwood. Maybe you might want to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know how long we're going to be, so because I think I'm going to, I have to just give a uphill and just put yeah. a socks on just, and put the just, waterfall on the radio. Just get the shovel, clean out the diaper, and I come know. on back. <laughs> you got stairs. You got stairs. <laughs> just do a Ruth Bader she Ginsburg. Push her. Push her down. I know. You know? She, I, I, I don't want to down go the down the stairs. She take some pictures. Yeah. I went to the bank before. She's paging me. When are you coming home? I'm online in the freaking bank, man. And I got a case check. A crack a rib, save a diaper. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you on uh, Tuesday, Alex. Okay. Bye well, bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Tony is. Our, if anybody else wants to call, you're welcome to. Oh, I, I, I was going to make a, make a suggestion. You said that you had some open seats for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't know that Tony's got anything to do for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he likes turkey. Shut up. <laughs> you know, the last time I gave into that was when Albert said, "Why don't you come to <laughs> Alex's know. party?" Okay, yeah. and and that's how I met Tony for the first time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 uh, you know when you had that great set, yeah. you said that Tony spent two weeks there building the new set, which was a green screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Everybody thought that was a real set. I thought it was. It looked great. <laughs> it looked great. It was like, how can you afford that, Alex? Well, uh, it's just you punch, uh, you punch button one and feed it into button two, and there you go. You know. The funny thing is that exact same set. I've seen it on other news shows I know. that are national yes. news shows. Yes. Are, are they using a green screen? Yeah. yeah. If you saw the exact set. Yeah. The exact same. The set. only thing was that I wish I had had some money. Because I would have paid uh, uh, to buy an upgrade to that where we could actually put our own backgrounds in there for New York and so on. 
you know. Uh, well, you can with OBS, I understand. Well, I mean, OBS, uh, no, you can't do that kind of virtual <laughs> set You can put OBS. a picture. You can put a picture, uh, but this wasn't just a picture, Phil. Yeah. This was an overlay and a box that had me in it. That, right. that whole thing was, you know, and then you could also have a different angle. Uh, and you just punch up the different angle, and you you, you know you get me with the uh, different angle of the same set. So yeah, and you had the TVs there with stuff in it. And yeah, it was great. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was terrific. Um, so anyway, you know, I mean, we've had a lot of de desperate news, but the other, of course, piece of news was that that uh, that uh, shooting, shooting in in. Uh, in Southern California in Thousand Oaks, mm -hmm. which, you know, uh, it, 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 that, I brought it up last night and I'll say it again. I mean, at what point do we just say enough is enough? Do you, you know what, what you they're talking about? What do you mean by that? Enough is enough. There's nothing you could do about it. Well, you know what they're you know what they're talking about is that this is a mental health issue, and I was watching a program tonight, uh, CBSN, where they had a had some uh, mental health people on, and they said that uh, you know maybe you got to bring back the asylums uh, that we had uh, in the '60s and '70s, yeah, uh, so that you could get. They said that one in five people in America has a mental health issue. Now, that, that doesn't, you know, bipolar or uh, um, schizophrenic. Uh, so if 20% of the, of the population has some sort of mental health issue, we need a way of dealing well, with them. Well, Phil, and, Phil, and, Phil. Yeah, but the, and they're not talking about prison asylums. They're talking about, uh, you know, ways of, of giving them a safe yeah, place, here, getting them here, off here, the street. The point, but Phil. how do you do that? How do you find them? These mind? people are from, coming from out from the middle of nowhere. People, they don't have any prior you, you, history of anything. Also, you don't want to take an Some, action. Hold, hold on a second. You, you don't want to take an action that is going to drive them into the shadows for fear that they would go to an asylum or something like that. You want them to be able to feel they can come forward and say, I have a problem and I need to be helped. That's what you but need. The, but what these people said is that a lot of them are already in prison. Uh, or in uh, living on the street uh, and, uh, and and other things that are, uh, uh, you know, yeah. due and, to and their so, so how issues. Would you, how would you have found this guy? He wasn't living on the street. Uh, no, but he had a roommate that realized that the guy was, was off and he didn't say anything. I think, you know, I, I don't believe in, you know, reporting people like the Jews are in the attic. But uh, how, do you, how do you know? I mean, you know, you find a guy. Uh, I'll get to you in a second, Brian. You find a guy who's crazy and nuts and, you know, whatever you think is nuts. But do you exactly turn him in? I mean, what, are, what is your basis for turning him in? That he doesn't act normal? Well, you know, it's uh, there are plenty of people that could be in the position to to identify. There's the schools. There's uh, there was there was the army. You know, Phil, uh, Phil, you know, what you're doing is you're deflecting the problem here. You know, the problem in, in a lot of cases. Yeah. Anybody who shoots anybody else is is, is has a mental problem. Well, how did right, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, but your little insane asylum idea wouldn't have stopped this. It wouldn't have stopped what went on in Vegas. It wouldn't stop what went on in uh, Rhode in, uh, uh, you know, Rhode Island. Uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna stop it by taking the guns away from yes uh, you are yes citizens. you are you're gonna yes you are then the only yes you are, are the yes crazies. you are yes you are. Let me go to Brian first because he had his hand up, and then we'll go to Rob. Yes, Brian. I'll just make this real quick. Uh, yeah, I do think that some form of humane and uh, safe, attractive uh, form of uh, uh, reinstitutionalization should be implemented, as mm -hmm. Alex was saying. But what is the what is the public. criteria for doing that? I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not. A I person. don't know exactly. You don't know exactly, Alex. But you had the right words. Make it so that they feel comfortable coming forward, saying, "I need help and assistance, assisted living, so on and so." Forth. The other thing I wanted to remark is, Phil, you, you said that it may be a mental health issue. I want you to mark those words that came out of your mouth. If we ever have another mass shooting incident or domestic form of terrorism incident in which the perpetrator is either African-American or Muslim-American, 
don't tell me, oh, they're on a jihad, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, a lot of these white guys that do this shit are on like a, their own form of Christian but fundamental. But you see, Rob I, has his hand I up. I believe Rob the has his hand is up. drugs. Rob has his hand up. I want to illustrate a point um, that you're, that what you're saying ideally would be a good idea, but you're never going to be able to do anything about it. Like, like for example, this last guy, right? His you roommate need to tax knew the rich, it. too, to do his, it. No. His, his roommate, you said his roommate could have turned him in, right? Right. So I, 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 I might have told the story before, but back in the day when I was in radio, I, I, be, I befriended a young girl who uh, used to call me all the time. She followed me from radio station to radio station. I was living in Florida, um, central Florida, and she was Vietnamese. She was brought over by her sister who had to adopt her, and she married a GI and they were stationed at Patrick Air Force Base in Satellite Beach, Florida. And she used to call me all the time, and she was always happy-go-lucky. And then she started calling me, and she started crying, and she started telling me all these stories about how um, her stepfather, who was really her brother-in-law, wants her. And I'm like, what do you mean she, he wants you? Uh, he wants me. He wants me. He said, uh, he can't have me. Nobody's going to have me. He's threatening to kill me. He's threatening to kill me. And I kept saying, I kept saying, look— you know, that's he's saying that that's like a, you know, an American kind of thing. I'm going to kill you. It doesn't mean he's really going to kill you. He killed her and I could have turned him in. But, I'm, you know what I'm saying? You you are never going to that's never going to work because nobody ever thinks that their roommate is going to go out and wipe out a whole bunch of people. And no, no I had never thought in a million everybody years. Everybody always says the guy was such a quiet guy. So then you're yeah. going to have everybody turning everybody in. And you're going to have a whole bunch of people in these asylums who maybe wouldn't do anything. There's no way to do what well, you're saying. Phil, I'm Phil, 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 Phil what, I what I want to know, what I want to know, I want to ask you a question, Phil. Sure. And it's a straightforward question. Why do you love guns more than you love people? I don't love guns more than I love people. Well, then but why, I love guns why, because I do love no, people. No, you love guns, Phil. You love guns. Uh, it's it's a Second Amendment right. It is a like hard it. piece of steel, Phil. It has no emotion. It has no warmth. I, I like the uh, ability uh, to uh, shoot the target and get it right in the right in the center. But go buy, go buy a fucking video game. I don't like video games. They hurt your thumbs. But uh, I wanted to ask you a, a serious question, Alex. Uh, back in the 60s and, and early 70s when, uh, uh, with Reagan uh, in California, we had asylums. How did they decide who went into those asylums back then, the ones that they let everybody out onto the street? And then we had uh, mass murders and we had the zebra killer at the same time and we had all these other things happen right around the same well, time. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 you know, uh, uh, emptying out of the asylums in California, which was a terrible, terrible thing because it took people who were being cared for and, and threw them out on the street, did not really cause things like the Zodiac Killer and things like that. What, well, the, what, it, did do, what it did do was cause a social is issue of people wandering the streets aimlessly without work and, and uh, being— uh, Why was it done? Huh? Why was it? Because, Why was it uh, because I, think it, I think it was a constitutional thing that uh, they they didn't we didn't have the no, right to. It wasn't to constitutional. Do that. Reagan wanted to throw them out of the mental hospitals. No, no, he but didn't want ask to pay yourself. For it. You didn't no, want to pay for yeah, it, probably. But just ask yourself: Do these people, uh, you know, uh, did we have the right to do this? But even if well, we, your boy Reagan, or, did it. All right, but how did they identify the people? that ended up in these institutions that uh, prior to letting them out, we had a silence. Well, that is, that's a very good question. But the point is, is that... Well, that would answer your question. I would say there were, a, there were a lot of people in asylums who were there because family members didn't like them. You know, any number of reasons where these people shouldn't have even been in an asylum. But then there were a lot of people in those asylums who, who weren't able to take care of themselves, and now all of a sudden here they were out on the streets. Also, uh, a after a while, you had the returning Vietnam vets who had nowhere to go for help, and they, were, they turned into a lot of them uh, street people and so on, and that's why California had a big street person problem for the longest time. Yeah, uh, you know the, the guy who shot up the, uh, the disco, not the disco, the, you know, the the bar in Torrent uh, in Southern California. Thousand Isles. Thousand, thousand Oaks. Oaks. 
he was uh, uh, there was the police were called out to his apartment or house, and uh, a and a social worker uh, was going to at the time they were considering giving him the fifty one fifty welfare and institutions code seventy two hour hold, mm -hmm. but one for one reason or another the social worker said it wasn't necessary and. Uh, here it is. I don't. I don't know what the time span was between that and him. Well, and sometimes look, the, look. Look. Sometimes. Look, sometimes. Look. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. uh, we slap back. Then we get slap back from Pat. slap back from Jack. Hold on a second. Yes. I hello, Jack. You there? Oh, hey. Yeah. yeah, right here. It's not me. Okay, we don't have video on you, by the way. Oh. Uh, yeah. But, no, but the slap back was you. But I don't know why. It's not necessarily your fault. Yeah, it just uh, happens. Yeah. Uh, uh, the. Um, the problem is, is that that you have to, a lot. Some of the time, you can say, "Oh, this guy should have been, you know, on a on a on a medical hold or whatever." In other cases, you don't even know the guy exists. You know, I mean, uh, it, it takes it takes weeks before we find out who these people were and why they were there. And I mean, we still don't know what the complete motivation was of the guy well, in in Vegas. As an there example. was some sort of contact. There, there was even there was even that guy in Florida that shot what forty nine people in that club, uh, uh, in the gay discotheque. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was in Orlando. False. Yeah, the uh, false. Yeah, club. yeah. Boy, yeah, you know, look, look yeah. at Jack. Jack can't hold a picture. Yeah, no, no, that's because his not. hair is getting long. Yeah, He's turning I, into I, a hippie. That just the other day, but but I'm working on it. Yeah. Is that a fro? No, that's that called right. going bald. No, no. <laughs> it's it's late. It's longer than I've seen in a while. It's not a fro. It's a froze. Or yeah, froze, froze. Well, yeah. well uh, I heard you guys asking the question: How did it? How did people get committed to uh, hospitals? How did it work before? Yeah. Well, I am lucky enough that my best friend in this area uh, that I live in is a internationally recognized psychotherapist and psychologist who worked at a number of hospitals. And uh, we talked about this last year on the intersection. And it, we, because of the stupidity that we have in this country of not having any uniform laws from state to state, it does yeah. vary. But uh, the people in the profession set up their own ethical guidelines, and uh, what had to happen? If you were considered by family members to be of a threat to yourself or others, you could not just be committed. The person uh, had to undergo examination. The 72-hour uh, hold. Hmm? The 72-hour hold, the 5150. Yeah, 72-hour hold in some states, in mm -hmm. other states in California. longer. Yeah. You know, um, I think it's 72 hours here in Texas, but in other states it is longer. Uh, then a, um, a, a board of psychotherapists, or psychiatrists, or psychologists would review the situation, mm -hmm. sent the case to a court. Mm-hmm. And a judge would rule on it in most states. Okay, yes, was it, yes, Rob. Was, was, was the practice ended because, you know, sort of it coincided with health care costs skyrocketing and it just became too expensive? Is that why asylums and all that went away and they just released all these people? Well, it had a lot to do with that and also with uh, the fact that once again, because we are not like most civilized countries, having a, a national health care system that doesn't bankrupt you, the insurance companies pushed for that. Right. So uh, and, and as we all know, those that give to politicians usually have great sway with politicians. Well, I donated to Amy and she lost. Well, Amy was going to lose <laughs> because, anyway. because of, the, of the county that we live in. You yeah. donated to Amy? Yeah. Just as a friend, you did yeah. that. <laughs> How much you did you donate? How much did you donate? <laughs> no, yeah, I donated to Amy. How much wow. did you donate? Yeah. Uh, we, we went out to dinner, and I gave her uh, the cash I had in my pocket, which was about 60 bucks. Yeah, uh, piker. Yeah. But, you know, hey, it's uh, it was, you know, it's something. I mean, yeah. 
She's a uh, Democrat. She's... It takes a lot more money than that to buy people off. <laughs> <laughs> they don't buy them off. They just no, print Alex, them. It Alex. costs more money than that to fix an to election. your own ballots <laughs> and, and shove them in a closet. Yeah. Well, one, so, of these days, now, one of these days we'll get smart and we'll say that probably anything above the county level should be publicly financed. But, so, uh, Jack, so, we, so we the people can buy our politicians and know they'll stay bought. Jack, you lived in California. Did you live in California at the time that Reagan uh, eliminated the uh, the uh, asylums and let the uh, let the people onto the street? I know I did, but I wasn't politically aware enough to know why. I don't think you no, were, Phil. Living in America when that happened, uh, I left California. Thank God, just as Reagan was entering office. Uh, but I, I then moved to uh, uh, Texas and then from Texas to other southern states where uh, the idea of mental health care was practically non-existent. Uh, you know, kind of the way it is today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, to simply, you know, you, you can't, all these, all these shootings we've had, you know, there have been 300 and I think about 320 deaths. Seven. 307 shootings this year. 307 uh, shootings. Ma uh, ma mass shootings. Uh, of four, four or more. People. Of four people or more. Four or more. All right. That's crazy. Now, I mean, I, I even... O almost one a day. It's been 320 days. We're yeah. Three, yeah. Day so, 322. You know, so I think we need to start asking the question, and that would include limiting guns and so on, or limiting the way in which people have access to guns. Yeah. Uh, of, of how we stop this. This is obviously a very big problem we've got here. You uh, know? To put it this way, put it, and, and, I, and I have personal experience with this, mm -hmm. in that uh, my youngest nephew, there in San Francisco, thought in one of those kinds of incidents when he was 22 years old. Wow. Uh it only took Great Britain one mass shooting to do something about it. Now, well, it wait a minute. Now, when you say 307 yep. since the first of the year, yeah. why don't I seem to have heard of all of those? Or were they like four or, or, uh, or more, and they just didn't get reported with the same ferocity that these larger it's ones? It's probably the way it is. Yeah, so they don't get reported anymore. I mean, it's becoming, if they're happening almost one a day, it's really sort of just American, how, you know, how many, it's like a house fire. Well, I'll tell you how what, I'll people, tell you what I noticed, what I noticed, what I noticed was usually when these murders have happened like this, like this was 12 people, right? Plus, uh, I think the third, uh, th was it 13 with the guy? the guy, plus the guy, um, uh, what usually when you have something that big, these news people go on all hour with that story and they have somebody there and blah, 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 blah. Here they covered it for 15 minutes and then they went on to other stuff. Oh no, uh, it's been uh, news. No, 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 it, it, no. All the fires. No, but 15 minutes and then they went on to other stuff. I counted it. In, in California, uh, on, the, on the local news, it, it's all they oh, talked no, no, about no, no, until no. these that, that's fires. That's in California. That's in California. Yeah. I'm talking about the it national fits. news. It's like we're suddenly becoming numb to this. It's not Absolutely. as big a story, even if it is 12 people. Part you know, of it, it, for his, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but, you know, there's, what, uh, 300, and, 300 million people in this country, and there's been three, 325 million. So what's the percentage of having uh, one shoot, you know, one of these occurrences a day hey, based on one the population of the, one of these a day is, One of these a day is too much. Wow. Okay, especially when you acceptable? look at a country like Canada. Which I'm not has, saying it's acceptable. When you look it's at Canada a, that has a per capita rate of gun ownership that exceeds the United States, and they had maybe, I don't know, 25, 30 murders last year. Okay? Well, what does that Canada? tell you? What does that tell you that uh, too you damn know, the cold Americans, over there. they're giving us too many Xanaxes, you know? Uh, I think that it's uh, it's these uh, these drugs that uh, they're giving people um, for their mental disorders yeah, yes, that are yes, creating Jack. suicidal yes, Jack. issues. Please shut Phil up, Jack. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you know, uh, a friend of mine has an import export business, and he goes to Europe four or five times a year. 
He just got back, and he said, you know what the French call mass shootings? Going Texas. <laughs> I've heard that expression before. Now, Here. used to be going postal. Right? Used to be going yeah. postal. Now, here's our real problem, and Phil knows this. Most of the shootings, most of the murders in this country are not from strangers. Right. It's, it's from domestic military. issues. Yeah. Yep. And sometimes they are multiple homicides. Oh, Phil, uh, 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 whole families. J Jack, do you remember when we were working in Houston? The, mm -hmm. the, uh, Friday, Saturday nights would come. Uh, mm -hmm. Murder rate went crazy on those weekends, and they never got reported because it was considered par for the course because people had the ability to have handguns holstered on their side. Still do. Yeah. Still do, yeah. Uh, Alex, I will never forget this, the longest day I live. It was in um, November of 67. You had already left Houston, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I was leaving. And um, Richard Dobbins, remember Richard Dobbins? Yeah, yeah. he's our newsman, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Richard Dobbins was doing the news as I was driving out of town. Mm -hmm. And I heard him say, Something, something, November 1967, mm -hmm. 270 murders in the holiday rush hasn't even started yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's when I really became aware of this problem. And, you know, you and I have lived in some pretty big towns, and we've lived in some towns that were pretty tough towns. Houston was the only town that genuinely scared me. Maybe Texas, we have to Texas, realize yeah, that Texas, Americans are yeah. violent people, and the price of freedom the way we have it is is what it is. But can you Maybe imagine, can you imagine, you know, none of us can imagine this, but imagine being a kid growing up today and knowing the very place that you go every day is a place where you could get murdered. That's yep. the that's the reality. That's we the new norm. You, you, not only that, you could. That's back seventh in, period. Yeah. Seventh period <laughs> at school. That 2000, before 2001, nobody ever thought that a bomb or that a plane would fly into a building and people who were just on their way to work would be uh, decimated like that. So, you know, it's, this is the world we live in and this is the price of freedom in a Look, democracy like this. Maybe you it's remember, just... You remember Jim Jones, another San Franciscan? Sure. Uh, goes down to Guyana. How many people died that day? Uh, yeah, 900? That, that was a different situation, though. Yeah, they gave him Kool Aid. That was a, that was a but, that was a mass suicide. It was, and I would say it was in my book, it was murder, but it was murder yeah. of an entirely different stripe. Okay. I kind of think that. Hey, by the way, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing Jeff. He's I, getting I drowsy. Think you're right there, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Look, we were actually red. in that situation, oh, including one uh, reporter from the ABC affiliate mm -hmm. here in Dallas, who was down there. Covering and a, con and a congressman too. Yeah, and Leo but, but, Ryan. Look, guys, here's here's the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I used to rail against yeah. some things. Yeah, until uh, I read a very thoughtful article on the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. And as the Second Amendment is currently written, and underline the word currently. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that we can do until wow. we get really serious and say, hey, who are you afraid of and why do you need 15 handguns? I haven't shot a gun since I had to qualify yeah. with a handgun going into the Coast Guard Reserves. Wow. Anyway. Hey, I listen. I I... One of my uncles came uh, to mm -hmm. Dallas to help me get food back. And uh, as, we, as we were uh, going to the, uh, uh, to the service, he said to me, Hey, you got your handgun? I said, Are you out of your damn mind? I never owned a handgun. Yeah. Hey, what hey, does this listen. network only employ veterans? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, you got to go, go do a show. Yeah, yeah. So let's ah. bye-bye. There goes Jack, ladies and gentlemen. We remove him from the from the group. Well, I'm I'm going to spend the day tomorrow with John Perulis and okay. Ray Renati. Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I have, I have fun doing that. Wait a minute, I'm trying to.
change pictures here. There we go. Okay. We're going to an MMA match, and uh, we're all going to well, shoot pictures. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, everybody, wave goodbye, would you please? Uh, let me thank everybody who's been here tonight. Rob and Jeff and F Phil and, and Brian and Jack and... Uh, we have, Tony. No, and Tony. Tony. Yeah, and Tony. Wave goodbye, everybody. Okay? Bye-bye. There Bye. they go. There they go. Good night. Uh, that's, the way, that's the way we float our boat around here. Hold on a second. Let me just get rid of my uh, Skype so that uh, the next program can use it. I will have relinquished the Skype, uh, and I'm relinquishing the program until uh, next Tuesday night, right after Damien Chaplin does the exchange. Uh, we'll be on at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, 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 and uh, right now, it's Jack Bishop in the intersection, followed immediately, immediately at uh, mid, at mid 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections. Damien Chaplin, 930 on Tuesday, and then uh, I'll be here at 10 o'clock on, on uh, Tuesday to do another program. In the meantime, I'll be here same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, I'm having a hard time ending the show. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>